Hey Dodger fans, it's the 3 Up 3 Down podcast and I'm talking about why Dave Roberts deserves just a little bit of credit for what the Dodgers have done this year so far. Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Eel, your host for this 5-Minute Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram that is at EEU. L-A-U. I'm recording this on Thursday, and on Tuesday, the Dodgers clinched their ninth straight postseason appearance after beating the Diamondbacks, meaning the Dodgers are guaranteed one of the wild card spots, if not the division. Thursday night, the Dodgers only one game back of the San Francisco Giants because the San Diego Padres decided to actually start playing baseball. So thanks for that, guys. But in the wake of that postseason accomplishment, LA Times writer and reporter Bill Shaken wrote a piece wondering aloud, laying out the argument that Dave Roberts could be the best manager of all time, stating the fact that no manager has a higher winning percentage managing more games than Dave Roberts has thus far. A lot of blowback from it. A lot of people have very strong opinions about Dave Roberts. I understand why. I am not here to tell you that he's a certified Hall of Famer, that he's just one of the best managers of the last 25 years, that I just ardently defend every decision he's ever made, like pulling Rich Hill in Game 4 of the 2018 World Series, like throwing Kershaw in the 2019 NLDS, double switching Muncie a couple weeks ago, and then pinch hitting for Cody Bellinger, just burning through three bench players in like 10 seconds. Also not going to really defend how he started Billy McKinney instead of Matt Beatty. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to tell you that I think Dave Roberts gets treated like an NBA head coach. And much like an NBA team, this Dodgers roster is absolutely loaded and they should be really, really good. I'm not saying that he has just, he's the magic man and that's why they're so good. I'm just saying he deserves a little bit of credit, a little bit of credit. And like an NBA head coach, he gets crapped on when they lose games, and he gets absolutely zero credit when they win. Absolutely zero. Twitter lights up when he makes a mistake, and when they win a nice game, or I don't know, game six of the World Series, Dave Roberts just does not get enough credit. I think he's an above average manager that gets treated like he's a guy who has no idea what he's doing. And then in response to that Bill Shaken article, you even have a guy who's from The Athletic and he's saying this wasn't snarky, but it seems snarky. And I quote, this is Grant Brisby. I truly wonder what their, the Dodgers, winning percentage would be with me as a manager. Just a dweeb that no one takes seriously saying Tustin Jerner in the middle of an at-bat instead of actually managing. Probably still over 600. That's an actual verified reporter. So you know that's flying around too in MLB circles. So look, Dave Roberts has navigated a ton of injuries. Like I said, he doesn't get a gold star for this season, but he should get part of a gold star. He should get a little bit of credit for managing the Trevor Bauer situation, Cody Bellinger hitting well below his weight, Mookie Betts missing extended stretches, Corey Seager missing a big stretch, the whole rotation being down two freaking starters pretty much since July 30th and still having one of the best ERAs. And yeah, they did get Max Scherzer and Trey Turner, but Dave Roberts also had to be the guy along with management to sit down Trey Turner and talk to him about he was going to fit in. And it goes back to the NBA analogy. Dave Roberts has done an incredible job, an incredible job of managing these egos. I mean, look at if that doesn't convince you, look at the stats. They're second in wins. They're first in ERA. Number one in run differential at plus 244. And if all that doesn't convince you, how about if you're a big Justin Turner fan, you don't like Dave Roberts, well, then you have a problem on your hands because Justin Turner really, really likes Dave Roberts. And I quote, and I quote, he's been great. He's been great for us since the first day he put on the Dodger uniform as our manager. He's a positive guy. He loves the game. He loves his players. We love going out there and competing for him. You're like, okay, players manager. The second part of the quote is the best. I can't say enough about him and what he's done. We're going to do everything we can to go out and win with him, win him another championship. That's coming from a guy that's in the dugout, not sitting on his couch, drinking a fourth Corona on a Tuesday, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with having four beers on a Tuesday. I've, I've done it myself, so no, no judgment here. But that's a guy in the locker room, one of the unquestioned leaders of this team who believes that Dave Roberts has had a big impact on this team. So if that doesn't sell you on it, then I don't know what to do. And look, for all you people that are like, he needs to bunt more, the Dodgers bunt the ninth most in baseball. They have nine sacrifice hits. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you about that. And by the way, another great team, the Tampa Bay Rays, bunt the least in all of baseball. So I, I, I don't know what to do for you, for you small ball people all the time. And that's, that's like your go-to Dave Roberts thing. Once again, not saying he's a Hall of Famer, not saying he should get a statue, not saying he should win manager of the year. I just think he should get a little, a little bit of credit. 
for what he's done and navigated this roster to the second best record in baseball despite all of the injuries and everything this team has had to overcome. They do have the best roster top to bottom in all of baseball, but you need a good manager, not just an average manager, to get this team through all the injuries and to get all of those MVPs, All-Stars, Cy Youngs on the same page and to manage through sky-high expectations. Dave Roberts deserves a little bit of credit for what the Dodgers have done in 2021. That's it. I am way over my time, but thank you for watching. And a special shout out to my man, Edgar Rodriguez, for these new layouts, the new visuals for this podcast that started last week. Please give him a follow that is at underscore city of champs and make sure to subscribe, rate, review to our Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Check out the Blue Heaven podcast with Clinton Brook and Dodgers dugout with Doug McCain. Thank you. And I'll see you on the other side.